Good night, everyone. Today is uh, Thursday around 10 p.m. New York time. Uh, we're going to end the day with a daily video, the technical video that we do for your car uh, or you guys. Uh, another day, another U.S. dollar selling day. And this being a lot of pounding against the U.S. dollar has been so like unbelievable. But well, the same happened in November, and it reversed the move. The same happened in, uh, uh, like in January, it corrected. The same happened last year around November. Last year, no, 2010, November, I remember, it corrected the whole move. The thing happens in July, I believe, 2008. Uh, and it's, that's that's part of trading. That's what trading is all about. It always gonna be one one currency which is stronger than the other, and that's why we have the Elliott wave because technically, that's what create the wave. All right. Now, like everyone know, the wave are no straight lines, so they are correction, they are reverse. I mean, that's all part of trading. So, let's try to figure it out these things again. Uh, let's start saying that at least another low, we see an, more weakness in the U.S. dollar, at least one more low, and the the bottom, of that, I mean creating a bottom doesn't have to be everyone at the same time, that's a combination of pairs, when one pair is going to be before, then it's going to leave the path, the other pair is going to get behind, but at the end, but what I'm saying yesterday, what we're saying is that we see some pairs that are showing a possible bottom. For example, the U.S. CAD, mm, it looks more, it looks more uh, impulse to the outside from the low that we have that then recovers, so possible is low right there. But we're going to concentrate tonight in, in a pair. This pair are unbelievable, and I've been mentioning this pair for the, for this last week. Uh, it looks like it's the one that is going to tell us <laughs> when these things got to the end. Uh, consequently, you guys are going to see that technically you see that there is two big group right here, which is the U.S. dollar and the yen group. Uh, this pair that we're going to see is the euro yen. Uh, if you guys remember from the beginning of the week and even last week on the on the video that we have for the uh, how we call it for the the weekend video a day I mentioned that I saw more witness because I'm more strength in the and the euro dollar because technically I saw that the euro pound and the euro yen they are presenting a bullish structure okay so we were right and at that moment we were around here look what happened guys it goes one two one two so i believe now that pair is trading around 115 i believe that that pair minimum is gonna reach the 116.25 area now we're gonna do tonight we're gonna see we divide it like i say in two groups the u.s dollar and the gem so technically this pair what is showing right here is that the gen is gonna get weak that's why this pair is, is telling me at this moment that the gen is gonna go weak because this pair at least needs it needs to do it did one two one two now it looks if we trace the fee was right here it look like this pair already and the first three so now this pair needs to do is it needs to go lower and four of three and wave three right here which should end around the 11542 level that's when this pair should end wave three go lower and then end wave five around the 116 to 25 so now 
we're going to go first to the Jain group because I believe that many popular prayers like the Aussie Jain, the Pound Jain, the Cat Jain, they're creating some type of beer trap in other words. People believe that the Jain is going to get strong because they they uh, show like a a five way stroke to, to the downside but if you guys remember I've been mentioning the whole week and in the daily technical day that those decline they are questionable because yeah it looks like a five but at the same time it looks like it's a questionable five so okay let's go to those individual pair in the Jain side this is the euro Okay, right here we have the oxygen. The oxygen out of the whole gen group is the only one that I feel comfortable from selling. But if I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell it under 76.4%, which comes around here, around the 8340 against the 8450 area. So risking about 50 pit because there is a potential outs a great potential to the downside in this pair that's the only one now let's look at the uh, the pounds against the gen look at here okay it's right here okay if you guys gonna see now this looks you see it's a questionable way five I mean you can count it as a five but questionable because you have to be one two one two three I mean questionable I will, I will feel better even more now seeing this divergence here that is ending way five is gonna get back in three and it's gonna go higher now what is question about that is that the pound is meant to be to get weaker against the dollar so I mean like I say it can be count both way right here can be count both way you can say that this is one right here that this is one and you go one two three four five one two I mean so if you can stay stay away for the jam pairs but only the oxygen looks much better for me look this is the cat against the gen same scenario very questionable five all right so i believe i'm i'm waiting for this one because this one is the one that's showing the deepest correction if this one goes right here which is about i would say 50 feet higher that's gonna create that the gen is gonna get weak now let's go to the same pair we go right here and we see the Eurogen now we're gonna see the Euro the Euro right here is telling me that it's gonna get strong against the Gen now if we go in the Euro dollar right here the Euro dollar is, is getting close very close to an area which can present an strong but a strong uh, a strong a strong resistant if you guys remember I've been calling I've been calling and I'm at half posted saying about three weeks ago in the daily count in the daily count right here let me show you the daily first before I get into those details because I, I mean today the video is gonna be very simple it's gonna be only those two pairs because there is no need for more I mean it's very simple today the market is very simple guys look where the euro is <laughs> the euro is testing what I believe it is a huge resistance right here which is we're getting close to the 618 percent we're getting close to the 618 percent of if this is a double zigzag we're getting close to 618 
or W if we divide this ABC if this is a five wave move which it looks like then this is A this is A this is B and, and of course this is C so if that's the case and then what happened is that I believe and I feel more comfortable is if this trend line hole which come around six, uh, 140 47 area which is the 61 percent of this one also that's in the daily what this is gonna do is gonna take this pair to this way right here at least equal less to the downside all right at least if this is a triple six side that we believe it is look it can take it to the 117 area I don't know what's gonna happen if the count is correct it's gonna happen I don't know I mean now if we see that this area is taking and this pair start taking in this way then guys we need to adjust like we always say we need to adjust the counts now if we go to the U to the daily in the US dollar technically let me see what it is. okay this is the same count the thing is that in the US dollar the trend line comes a little lower which means that it's allowed to but we, we're pretty close and then this is the level that I've been putting on the, on, on the four hour count which is the 76 12 on the uh, on the US dollar the 76 12 that can be the that can be the number that's gonna reverse the market guys so having said that let me go to the euro dollar let me see when I have the euro dollar right here now got about three more minutes on the four and I'm gonna show you something else because I'm gonna move fast now I wanna show you the euro the Swedish franc and the pound okay if that's the case and this is a five wave move from the lows and this is correct and this is wave four right here let me take fuels one of the measures that we use to see when wave five is gonna end is when the equal wave four and that number comes at 140 32 so technically speaking that area for 140.32 to 140.50 should do a huge but huge bounce to the dollar not only that if we go to the 60 minute share and the euro dollar right here this is the 60 minute share let me open the number here a little bit You see from here what we have is one two three four and we should get a high to around that area guys so remember around four for 1410 to 1450 we should get a reverse or a bounce in the dollar now if the bounce is in five ways all you guys know that the top is in place now why also I got one more minute is this this is the US dollar against the Swedish franc, which I believe have one more low. It looks like it's doing a flat here. And last, this is the Aussie. The Aussie, I want to show the Aussie because I know it's popular. I believe that this is the count that is in play, which is an ending diagonal. So, guys, I have running out of time, but I have to tell you this. I believe that for tomorrow is the non fine peril my best guess is that what we're gonna get is we're gonna get a spike against the dollar if we don't get a new low in the dollar during the London session which shouldn't happen because you should have this low before the non fine peril so we're gonna get a spike and then the dollar is gonna get strong so I'm assuming that we're gonna get a good number in the non fine peril tomorrow 
let's get back tomorrow early with you guys before the non-fine peril so remember any spike against the dollar and then favoring the dollar thank you have a great night